Hi there, I'm Michael Giblin with FiddlerShop.com and welcome back to Michael Explains It All or Nothing at All, the Tomastic Rondo Violin String Edition and welcome to the new studio. I just got the urge to paint the wall one day and spruce it up a little bit. I hope you like it. I think it's looking good. So I know that these videos have a tendency to get a little long-winded and I ramble on incessantly. I know you don't care that much all about the inner workings of my brain. So the short version, if you just want the quick facts, is that the Rondo strings are a new set of string. They've been around for a while. They were just part of the Luthier line along with the TI strings that in the US you could only get from visiting your local Luthier or small music shop. And, but they were always available in Europe everywhere. And so Tomastic finally just released them for the public in the US. You can order them online, you can click below and we'll send them right to your door. And uh, you don't even have to get out of your pajamas. And so what do you need to know? The quick facts is that they're a premium set of strings. They're very nice, they're very good. And I think that they are sort of on the neutral side. I think they lean a little bit on the bright side. In that regards, they have a lot of similarities to Pre-Rastro's Eva Prazzi Green. And there's also a lot of other premium strings that are all neck and neck from Tomastic, like Dominant Pro and Pi and Vision Solo Titanium. So where do these strings kind of fit up? The truth is they're, they're pretty similar. They're all a little, you know, just a little different. So um, I'm gonna compare these. I'm gonna play some of these back to back and then I'll elaborate on the inner workings of Michael Goodland's brain if you're welcome to stick around or not. But here's what they sound like. As in all my videos, I'm playing the Fiddler Man Artist Violin and the Holstein Two Star Pernambuco Bow. <laughs> Okay, so they're a fabulous set of strings, very well balanced, they've got some nice warmth, got some nice brilliance. When you first put them on, they really have that like initial wow factor, they're very vibrant and just it's just like a fabulous experience. They settle in very nicely and kind of warm up. I have the tin plated over steel E string and then the other three strings are a synthetic core. The A string is aluminum wound and then the D and G are silver wound. They do also make a steel uh, wound A string. Um, we don't necessarily, I can't guarantee that we're gonna have that. It's not part of the standard set. There's like five million string variations if you take into account size and tension. So we don't always have all of them on hand. We could probably find it for you, but it's gonna take more time. I would just recommend sticking with the kind of the standard set to get a sense of if the string is something that you really wanna keep trying. Welcome back to the tone graph. And as I alluded to in previous videos, I've already come to regret some of the variables, so I've changed them today. And to get started, projection, these are a powerful set of strings. I don't think they're quite as powerful as Pi's or Vision Solo Titanium, but I do think they are a little bit more powerful than Dominant Pro's. Some of that might be related to the tension, but that's a whole another can of worms. I'm gonna keep moving on with color. I do think that, think that these are a little brighter than neutral. Not incredibly like way off the chart, like shrill or harsh, anything like that, but just a little, just a little brighter. And I think that's what people refer to as sweet. They're not, um, they're not super shouty. They're not like in your face, kind of bright. That would kind of 
not be pleasant, but I think it's sort of just a little bit more subdued, a little bit, you know, sh a little bit more shimmery. And I think that's what people mean when they talk about that it has a sweet sound. It's not like a, you know, cookie, chocolate chip cookie kind of sweet, but it's just sort of like a little, you know, caramel or a little peach ring or gummy bear or something. I don't know, something like that. Um, so focus is sort of this new area that I want to talk more about because before I said temperature and temperature and color were always really similar to me. So I regret that, all right? I made a mistake. Please, I'll do better and today is that day. And so I think these are more on the open side and I think that's what we also, sometimes we use the word broad. But I like to think of it more as they have like a nice open sound as opposed to sort of a closed focus piercing laser driven sound. I think pies are kind of a little bit more of that focus, focus on and these have just a little slightly more openness to them. So they're very pleasant. Depth here is, is a little bit where it's like you're not quite gonna get the, the deep booming, you know, uh, depth that I think you will get with Dominant Pros and a little bit with the Vision Solo Titaniums. I think those are just a little, a little meatier. The Rondos here sound just a little bit, a little bit, I don't know, mellower. There's still great openness. It's still a lovely, like, pure sound. Even on the A string. Wonderful, just warmth, round tone, but maybe not like ho 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 ho. So again, you can you can look at any of these things in a positive way or or a, you know optimistic way. Did I say that right? Optimistic or pessimistic way. You know, so it just really depends what you're looking for, what you need from your violin. Uh, the last two, uh, response. I think these are have a really nice response. I didn't really play much in the in the fest. <laughs> Everything's very nice. I like, I really like the feel of synthetic core. I've always sort of stayed in the Tomastic family. I think they're all very similar. I did play Ava Parazzi Greens for a while and that's kind of what is um, influencing my thought that these do sound very similar to Ava Parazzi Greens. Another fabulous set of strings. And then Clarity, um, they have, you know, it's a nice balance. I think sometimes too pure of a sound is a little bland, a little boring, a little bit, but you can also go too far and have too much artifacts in the sound. I think it's a nice balance, um, no real complaints there. One of the last selling points that's not really tone related though, is that the strings feel great under your fingers. They just have this springy quality that feels like they you know, help push your fingers back up. It's partially a tension related thing. Um, but I don't really know why that is. Some of that could be related to uh, the tension, I and I just played Dominant Pros on this violin, and Dominant Pros have a slightly lower tension. Every string is 0.2 kilograms less than Rondo, and which is would be nice if you have you know a violin where the neck is sort of starting to fall down and your string height is a little bit higher. Having that lower tension is going to feel nice. Um, that you don't, it doesn't, it's not as hard to push the string down. Rondos are fine if, if you, if you know, if you have a properly set up violin, it's fine, but they just sort of, they have a nice feel under the fingers. All right, so now I'm gonna play some strings back to back. I know it's not the most scientific um, version of this because I've switched studios a couple times since I started, but here are some string comparisons. Let's see how they compare.
right, so who are these strings really for? Or who should buy these? I think they're a great recommendation for intermediate to advancing players. And that's mostly just based on price because they're expensive and you can get vision strings for like half the price. Um, so you're gonna get, yes, a better sound, a little bit nicer sound. If you have sort of a warmer violin, like a Ming Jingju violin, I think they would work wonders for that because they need, Ming Jingju just need just a little bit more brilliance, a little bit more um, cleaner, a clearer response. And I think these strings would really help that. I think they're great for you know chamber music, recitals, orchestral playing. Are they the best string though for like serious auditions, soloing with an orchestra? I'm not 100% sure. Let me know what you think below. You know, I really do read read these comments and it helps influence my you know, opinions. Not that I need more opinions, um, but I'm curious because these haven't really been around that long and I'm curious to see what the general consensus will be. On one hand, I'm super excited that the Willy Wonka gates have been opened and now we can all, you know, tour the factory and see all the strings uh, that we used to be, you know, only reserved for if you went on a trip to Europe and like, oh, I brought back these strings that you can't get in Europe and you can only get in Europe and uh, which was always a little funny because there were workarounds. You could order them online and have them shipped to the US, but then it'd be so expensive, it wasn't really worth doing it. And one part of me is a little pessimistic and liked, you know, when you could go to Europe and you could only find Nutella or Toblerone and they were these like very special and you savored them because it was like, oh, I have something that you can't get anywhere. And nowadays you can go to the grocery store and pick up Toblerone and Nutella, you know, right next to the Hershey's and the Jif peanut butter. And so it's not that exciting. Do I buy Toblerone? Um, now that I can get it all the time? No, but I did when I, you could only get it in Europe. So I'm curious if these, you know, were really so special or if it was just because they were hard to get. Um, that's, that's sort of, I realize that's a pessimistic way of looking at life. You know, I love now with the global economy that you can get anything you want whenever you want it. And so I think that's, they're, having more options is always great but it does muddy the waters because there's so many good strings now and also strings are getting really expensive. So it's hard to say like, you should spend $115 to try this. Um, so that's why I try to hopefully make these videos to you know, light, enlighten you a little bit and uh, hopefully you had a good time. Did you have a good day? Let me know uh, in the comments below. I appreciate you watching all this far. Uh, it's, it was, it's been a difficult year. I lost a lot of motivation making these, but I'm trying to get back on it, try to get back out there, and um, uh, thanks so much for watching. So, to get the Rondo strings, just, you can get them from Fiddler Shop. Just click on the link that's below. We look forward to seeing you here in our shop. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope that was informative and helpful. Yeah, if you want to buy this product, just click right up here. Right there. Do it. There, we do would it. also love it if you subscribe to our channel so we can keep in touch. It's right over there. And if you want to learn more about us, click right here. Bye, 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 b